I'm going to show you some different ways to blend your subject into the background using this Christmas digital background. I'll link it down below if you're interested in getting it. So the first thing I want to do is come over here and bring in my subject. And you'll notice that this subject um, was taken in a very similar situation to what she would be in in the window scene. She's lit from behind in front of her body since she's facing us backlit um, the front of her is very very dark so this would be an ideal sort of a photo to bring in when working with this background you want to make sure that when you're taking a picture of your subject to be inserted into a background that the lighting is the same or very similar to the background that you're using okay so she's in our background and she still looks kind of pasted in even though this was a decent selection it wasn't perfect so the first method I'm going to show you for blending your subject into the background is super simple all I do is create a mask by clicking down here I'm going to come in here and grab a black brush and resize it so that it's fairly large I'm going to zoom in here and I like to just click around the subject, not on my subject, but off a little bit on the background itself. And it, you'll see as I'm clicking, it's sort of taking away the subject that I inserted just very slightly. And when you do this, some of the colors from the background are going to start to bleed over onto your subject. And that's what you want because you're going to have some of the colors from your environment sort of showing up on your body a little bit I guess if that makes sense so here I'm just clicking very lightly around my subject so some of those background colors can bleed in and I'm going to zoom in a little bit more these areas where it's very obvious that there's a line vision between my subject and the background I might actually just even take those off a little more thoroughly um, with a smaller brush you can get in and get a little more detail there okay and then I'm gonna make my brush larger and therefore softer of a transition the other thing is um, that's the problem you'll want to make sure your hardness is turned all the way down on your brush that's gonna create a much softer transition as well my hardness was turned up so it wasn't quite as pretty there we go that looks better so you see how some of the colors from the environment are bleeding over onto the subject that's going to help make it look like she sort of belongs in the scene like she was maybe really standing there so I'm going to go all around her and just tap 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 and I'm going to continue to do this all around the girl okay so I paused the video while I finished that up and I think already it made a big difference she doesn't look quite as much of sort of a sticker I guess in the scene let's just do a little bit better job in here there we go okay so the next step um, that I like to do sometimes is just blurring the edges very very slightly so the way you do that is I'm gonna click on my subject make sure your subject is selected and I'm gonna zoom in again and here is the blur tool some people don't know about this tool but it looks like a teardrop over here on the left hand side click on that and then up top you can set your strength you want your strength to be very very low I have mine set at about at seven percent so let's see how that ends up looking so we're just very slightly blurring the edges this is another thing that's going to help her blend sort of into the background it's blending those background colors with the colors of my subject there are a million different um, ways you can blend a subject into a background and I probably use a million different methods for doing it today I'm just showing you two very simple techniques that you can do um, whether you're a beginner or not very easy
And add a bonus, you get to listen to my dog barking. You're welcome. One day I'll do a better job of getting my audio a little more um, professional. So there we have a nicely blended subject using two different techniques, a black mask and the blur tool. And I'm gonna show you one more thing that you can do. I'm gonna come down here and create a new layer. That's this new thing in Photoshop 2020. A new layer is a box with a plus in it down on the bottom. Okay, and I'm gonna name this layer light. I just double clicked inside to rename it. I am going to grab the eyedropper tool over here and that's going to select a color. I want to select a color from the environment that's sort of an overall color, um, sort of a nice color that are, that's in the highlights that I'd like to cast on her hair. So somewhere maybe in this area I'll get some of those um, greenish, goldyish colors being cast from the moon. Okay, I'm going to grab my brush, set the blending mode to color dodge, and that's the secret to making what you do look like an actual light. I'm going to come up here and increase the size of my brush quite a bit. You want to make sure your brush is soft as well. I want it to look like some of the light from the moon is actually hitting the girl. So we're going to create a little light just by tapping. That's all I did. I tapped one time and you'll see what it did. If I turn that layer on and off, it created a nice light coming from the moon that bled over onto the girl. This is another thing that's going to make it look like she sort of belongs in the scene because the same light and the same colors in the background are now being cast onto her. Maybe I'll do another one down here. Control Z if you don't like it. Um, you can come up here and turn down the opacity of your brush if you'd want a little bit softer, more subtle effect. Okay. Turn the eyeball on and off and you can see what that's doing. See how it looks like the light from the moon is now touching her hair. So that's just another thing you can do to make it look like she sort of belongs in the scene. Like I said, there are a million different ways you can blend a subject into a background and I'll be doing tutorials on all of those as well but for now this is a good way you can you can really get started in a pretty simple process